Hey friends, Joe here with Tech Adventure. This is the AOPEN Fire Legend, and let me get this right, 27HC5R. Now the getting it right doesn't stop there. A few years ago I posted a review of an Acer monitor that AOPEN and Acer are the same, they're ultimately the same parrot company. And that review got some attention relative to my channel because I referenced the fact that there are two different models entirely, but it's not in the, the core model identification. So here we go, the same holds true with this Fire Legend monitor. And if you do a Google search right now for this monitor and you just use the model information I've given you, you may find the wrong monitor. So if you want the 240 hertz refresh, which is the one I have here, then this is the additional characters that you need to search for, okay? So ZBMI PPX, okay? Now the other option is this one here. I'm just looking at Amazon. The PBIIPX. Now the PB is 165 hertz. Otherwise, they're the same. So this can be very confusing. And again, because of the difference between the two that's so subtle, the price delta could be really attractive. So you might think 165 hertz, plenty for me, in which case right now, because of the sale on Amazon, you'd pay just $180 with free delivery in the United States to get into a monitor that's very simple, similar to the one that I'm reviewing here today. So this review is going to include a t physical tour of the monitor, my impressions, of course, and some gameplay so you can see what it's like using the thing. If you're hearing the fan noise in the back, it's just because this is my second desk, not my primary desk, and I'm using my laptop, which has a 2080 Super Max Q GPU, but it's a laptop. So the fans are blaring right now because I have Call of Duty minimized. So let's go ahead and start with the basics. What is this monitor? What are you gonna find here? So AOPEN, as I mentioned, is a subsidiary of Acer. So it's effectively the same parent company, which means there's gonna be some sharing of intellectual property and that type of thing. I don't have the specifics about, does this map to another Acer monitor that's more premium or anything like that? What this is, is a plastic chassis, 1500 R curve. So it's a subtle curve, 27 inch. It's a VA panel, right? So it's not TN, it's not IPS, not LED backlit. It is VA. Now VA has its advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages to VA is you can get high refresh rates at a low price. And that's exactly what you're getting out of this 240 Hertz. So if you want to drive 240 or so Hertz, you know, frames per second in your games, you really want that, that, precision, then you get into something like this at a low price. The actual price of this monitor does vary depending on where you buy it. One of the downsides of buying things from Acer, you're buying Acer products or buying AOPEN products, again, a subsidiary of Acer, is that it, they're not directly sold. It's kind of hard to find, right? You might find it from third-party resellers and not core distributors, like certified distributors. CDW is a certified distributor. Amazon is as well. But in the Amazon marketplace, this could be sold by, by me. It could be sold by anybody. So you gotta be really careful when you're looking at you know, who's the seller and what's their ratings and that type of thing. So buyer beware. But if you do get your hands on it, right now on Amazon, sold and shipped by Amazon, so you know it's an actual certified reseller. Uh, this is listed on, their, on the Acer website, by the way. $318 free shipping, Amazon Prime for this monitor. Okay. So where does that land in the grand scheme of monitors? There are so many monitors out there, so many different cuts of monitors and flavors, TN, VA panels. I just listed a whole bunch. You have OLED, QLED, different manufacturers like Razer and Samsung, they're everywhere. And it's really hard in my opinion to find a monitor that's suitable for you and what you want to do every single day. So for example, if I'm a, an esports player, if you're an esports player and you really want to make sure you're competitive, it makes a lot of sense to look at a high refresh rate monitor. Anything over 144 is going to be considered high refresh rate by today's standards, whereas 144 is becoming sort of the standard for anyone who does any sort of gaming. If you're strictly an office use user, I, I guess just turn this off because this is not for you. Right? One of the downsides of VA is you're not going to have really good color reproduction. You're not going to have super sharpness on this display at all because it's 1080p across 27 inches, so low PPI. And also, the viewing angles aren't phenomenal. That, I'm not blaming this monitor specifically. I'm not blaming AOPEN specifically. I'm just suggesting that, hey, there are different types of monitors for different types of users. So there's nothing wrong with buying this as long as you fit the use case. So in this case, the use case is you're a 
<laughs> you're, I don't know what they call it. Like you're just a high intensity gamer. Like you need every frame. You don't want to lose or whatever in your competitive gamings because gaming endeavors because you just, you know, you're 20 hertz slower than you need to be. So this is about as high as it gets. Now, the other types of monitors out there, I mentioned uh, different manufacturers and different panel types. Uh, there's also just, what do you need the thing to do? I know that some people just, they don't, they have a desk. Others maybe want to mount their monitor to a wall. So they need VESA compatibility and uh, there's weight uh, ratios and distributions to consider as well, depending on you know, how, how big is the monitor? How much does it weigh? The bigger, the heavier, generally speaking. Like I use a Razer Raptor monitor. There's a review on my channel. I love that monitor. I paid like, I don't know, $600 for it. It's stupid expensive and you can't mount it. And I wish I could so I could have a little more desk space, but it just, it's no, there's no VESA compatibility. And so it's okay though. I'm willing to live with that. And you gotta be willing to live with what you have when you make a purchase like this because they're not easy to return. Uh, generally speaking, monitors are not and they're kind of a pain to deal with in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I'm just not a monitor guy, but here you go. So this A-Open monitor is exactly what I expected it to be. And if you've done any research at all, or at least you're still here for this video, then you probably aren't gonna be surprised. It follows the exact same expectations of any TN panel that I've ever reviewed. So you get a really good value here. High refresh rate, high response time, and it's relatively inexpensive if you just look at that spec alone. 240 hertz, how is it just $350? Well, because the TN panel that's been sourced and assembled by a company that does a lot of monitors. So, and that's Acer, AOPEN, they do a lot of monitors. And so I think as a result, you get this really good value. But keep in mind, it does also carry the same disadvantages as other TN panels, poor color reproduction, poor viewing angles. So on top of that, the chassis itself, I think is pretty solid. You get the VESA compatibility. And as you saw in the video, it also does have pretty good rotation capability. You can go up and down. It's pretty adjustable. And the base is surprisingly sturdy. So even just now, as I was adjusting this, without even paying attention to what I was doing exactly, the base stayed in spot. So that's very reliable and it's good to see. So for a 27 inch 1080p display, it's not the kind of thing that I would buy because I'm not really into super high frame rates. I have a 1440p 27 inch panel that does 144 Hertz and I'm pretty happy with that. So if you have the hardware to drive it, if you really feel like you need to have that level of precision, then this makes a ton of sense and it's easy to recommend to someone who's looking for that. So I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.